let's start talking about the free falling technique. First, I want to tell you that for me, free falling is one of the most beautiful and enjoyable part of the of the dive. Okay, I call it flying. It's like learning to fly. Then when we free fall, we are just taking advantage of the buoyancy change um, that came from the boys law. Okay? It means that our bodies became smaller because our lungs or air spaces compress. It means that in a certain depth we start to sink. Okay, then with practice. You don't need to be afraid of that, you just enjoy this and you take advantage and you save energy to fly towards the depth. This is free falling. Before start to detail the, the free falling technique per se, I wanna give you a general view of the dive. Then when you dive, let's say that we are diving to 30 meters that is, can be an advanced intermediate level dive. Um, the first meters, let's say around the first 10 meters, you have positive buoyancy. It means that you need to kick or you need to pull the line, depending on the discipline you are practicing, to keep going down. Then you need to use some power. If you are kicking, you need to have some amplitude in the kick. You need to put some energy to fight against the, the buoyancy. The buoyancy is pushing you to surface and you are counter the buoyancy, you are going deeper. Okay, then the first around 10 meters is positive buoyancy, then you need to kick with power and amplitude. Then there is a middle depth that can be around the 10 meters, 10, 15 in this range, where you are neutral or almost neutral. It means that if you stop moving, you stay almost still, almost no movement for a moment. Then in that part of the dive, you should keep kicking, but you don't need to use a lot of power in the kick. You can relax a little bit the, the energy and the, the position you take with the, with the kick. It means the amplitude of the, of the kick don't need to be super big and you can relax a little bit more. And finally, after 15, 20 meters, depending on the depth you are going, you can stop kicking. And this is the free falling. Okay, then you free fall in the last part of the dive. To be able to free fall correctly and efficiently, one of the things you need to understand is the timing. I mean, when you should st stop kicking to take advantage, to start flying, into the depth, okay? Normally, in average, when you are intermediate level freediver, then you are freediving around the 30 meters, 40, maybe 50 meters, you should have the neutral buoyancy between 10 and 15 meters approximately. Then it means that you should start your free fall after 15 meters. You are going to 30 meters, you can start at 16, 17 meters, you can free fall. It depends on different factors, depend on your wetsuit, your body composition, the water where you are diving is not the same fresh water than salt water in the ocean. Then you can do small kicks after the free falling start. Then let's say that you stop kicking at 16 meters, then you kick again at 20, and then you do other small kick at 24 to keep the speed of the free fall. Or, depending on you, you can just stop kicking at 80 meters and you just glide towards the bottom. Okay, then this is personal and everybody has his own style. These uh, advices can change when you are a competitive freediver. Then it became a little bit more picky and there are other tricks and all details, but I just want to give you this general view of the free falling for basic intermediate free divers going around the 30, 40 meters depth. Other fundamental factor in the free falling technique is the posture. When you, you are gliding, 
after the kicking phase you should try to find a streamlined posture and it means trying to stretch your knees trying to stretch your ankles and to if you see your the video of your posture and your body you should look streamlined and gliding parallel to the line then you should pay attention to the position of your head to keep the, the head neutral with the neck aligned the, the hand you use to equalize you should keep hiding your elbow okay I advise you if you need to equalize frequently to keep the hand in your nose ready to equalize if you can hold the equalization some meters okay you can put one hand in the pocket and you can equalize every time you need if you prefer to have the arrow position with your arms over your head then you can just stretch it but be sure that you have the arms totally aligned with your torso i see a lot of videos and a lot of students freedivers in competitive level as well that they stretch the arms in arrow position but the arms are not aligned with the body then they are diagonal then in the end this is a loss of energy and tension in the shoulders in my personal opinion if you are doing amateur freediving or expert fishing i prefer to put my arms in the sides for me it's more relaxing when i'm competing with the monofin of course i have the arrow position i stretch my arms over my head um, i hope you enjoy these tips and it can be useful for you in your next dives See you in the blue.